Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate PayKickstart and Twilio. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new subscription is created in PayKickstart, it will automatically send a notification via Twilio. Now PayKickstart is an awesome subscription billing software and Twilio is an awesome messaging platform. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from PayKickstart to Twilio. But there is one minor problem. There is actually no integration between PayKickstart and Twilio. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate PayKickstart and Twilio. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products. And at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find the option called Dash Connect. Here click on Access Now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button, Create Workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Pay Kick Start to Twilio. Pay Kick Start, I am sorry. Pay Kick Start to Twilio. Then click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, let's make it as pay kick start because we want to send the data from pay kick start. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as a subscription created, this one. Okay, so subscription created is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new subscription is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like cart, abandonment, fulfillment, fulfilling, subscription payment, failment. Uh, all of them are bunch of trigger events. However, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new subscription is created in PayKickstart. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate PayKickstart to Public Connect. So let's have a visit to PayKickstart. So this is my PayKickstart account. So first of all, you have to bring your attention to this part called as campaigns. So this is my campaigns page and I'm going to select a product that I want to integrate with. So this is the product I'm interested in. So I'm going to click on this part called as edit. Okay, so this is the edit page, scroll down and at the bottom you will find the option called as integrations, click this. Okay, so this is the integrations page, scroll up and here you will find the IPN URL. So here just have to click on add. Okay, so we click on add, you will have a blank to fill in the IPN URL. Okay, so your obvious question is where I'm going to get the IPN URL. So let's have a visit to Pabli Connect again and copy this. This is the webhook URL or the IPN URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Excellent. Now in the set event, how about we make it as subscription created, this one. Okay, so subscription created is now the set event. So we have entered the IPN URL. Also, we have set the event as subscription created. Scroll up and just click on save. Okay, so it is showing the product has been updated. Basically, this means that we have integrated this particular product called as T-shirt to Pabli Connect. This means anytime a new subscription is created for this particular product, Pabli Connect has to capture this data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let's go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. 
okay so it is showing it is waiting for the data so let's go to pay kick start and let's create dummy subscription so i'm going to go to this uh, campaign one more time and i'm going to select the checkout link so this is the checkout link uh, and i'm going to just open this copy this and open this in a new tab okay okay so it, I'm going to proceed with my checkout and uh, this time the subscription is being made by this person called as Tom Cruise and this is the email address Tom Cruise 123 at the rate gmail.com so I'm just uh, going to click on new step next step and then this is the billing information uh, so the Tom Cruise is from India this is the house number this is the field uh, this is the address and this is the city so I'm going to enter the phone number 913132319 okay so this is the phone number okay so i'm just clicking on next step okay so in the order summary i am just going to click on complete purchase okay so a purchase has been made by this guy called as tom cruise so let's have a look since public connect is integrated with the uh, pay kickstart let's have a look whether public connect has captured this data or not okay so it is showing the data has been captured so as you can see this is the billing address that is house number this is the billing address to field 13 we have the city as bangalore city this is the zip code this is the email and of course where is our phone number that is important because we want to send the sms okay scroll down okay so here here we have the phone number excellent so now we are ready to sync all this data to twilio to send the sms okay so so to sync in the data all you have to do is just click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so now in the choose app how about we make it as twilio because we want to send the sms from twilio now in the action event there is only one action event that is send an sms now uh, send an sms is just an action event however just like the triggers if you find uh, if you want more action event according to your choice you can contact us at admin at the rate public.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to send an sms that's all okay so just click on connect with twilio okay so as you can see in the new credentials we have three blanks to fill account sid authorization token and again the account sid so basically we have to fill the account sid two times okay so your obvious question is where i'm going to get all these details it's actually pretty easy let's go to twilio so this is my twilio account and uh, i'm going to click on settings at the right corner you will find the settings i'm going to open this in a new tab okay so this is the settings page and uh, here you will find the api credentials so this is the account sid you want simply copy this and just paste it here so i have pasted my account sid similarly we have to fill again the account sid here so i'm just pasting it here okay so now we want the authorization token so to get the authorization token you just remove the privacy so this is the authorization token you want copy this and simply paste it here okay so we have filled the account sid and we have filled the uh, authorization token okay so just click on save so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of this blank is very simple we are going to construct an sms from the data that we have received from pay kickstart so before we uh, send uh, map in the details to construct a message let me tell you something Babli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so in the body of the SMS, uh, before we type in the body of the SMS, let me show you something. So as you can see in the sender number, uh, no, not ignore the sender, sender number, in the recipient number. Okay, so in the recipient number, that is basically the number of the, the phone number of the customer that has purchased your subscription. So the phone number is uh, this one okay so i'm just going to map this so as you can see there is actually a gap between three and two now this can be a problem for twilio okay so if we have a if we have a gap like this we actually have to remove the gap between these two numbers so your obvious question is how i'm going to do that it's actually pretty easy uh, scroll up and here you will find the plus button just click this okay so now in the action window we are just going to remove the gap between the two numbers in the phone number so we are going to choose the app as number formatter because we want to format the phone number and phone number is a number okay so now in the action event we are just going to select the format number option click this and just click on connect with number formatter 
okay so the number we have to map it so this is the number that we have got from pay kickstart so as you can see we have the gap in between them okay so now this is the basically this is the format okay there is a gap between them and we want the format which doesn't have the gap between the numbers between the digits okay so as you can see we have selected the format in which there is no gap between the numbers okay so this is the format and uh, the country code that is uh, is of uh, india that is 91 so all we have to do is now just click on save and send this request okay so the api response is now showing there is no gap between the numbers as you can see initially we had a gap okay now there is no gap okay so now we can map in the details so let us again connect with twilio and i'm going to select this one the recent settings okay so we are going to remove this okay so now we are going to enter the recipient number one more time and this is the number that we have got after formatting so this is the number actually there is no gap between them excellent now in the sender number i'm just going to paste my number okay that is my number so this is my number so i have pasted my number and in the body of the sms it can be something like hi okay so we are just going to type the body of the sms like hi thanks and we can just type in the map in the name okay so the name was uh, tom hi thanks tom for purchasing this and what was the product product was a t-shirt okay and it will be delivered to you at and we are just going to map in the address so field 13 and then we can also enter the city so the city is a bangalore city and then we can also enter the country if you want okay the country is india okay so this is the body of the sms and uh, we have the sender number that is my number and this is the recipient number okay so this is the recipient number that we have got after formatting the phone number okay so just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data the sms has been sent to this number so let's have a look okay so we have got the sms so this is the sms that we want so the presence of this sms in uh, my customers mobile phone shows that we have successfully integrated pay kickstart to twilio with help of public net so how about we double check if the integration is working fine or not so let me show you the gist of the whole process so i'm minimizing my action window i have again minimized my action window and then i'm going to minimize my trigger window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated pay kickstart to public connect and then you have formatted the phone number and then you have integrated twilio to public connect so now there is a perfect flow of data between pay kickstart and twilio okay so let us uh, copy this checkout page once more and enter the data as a dummy customer once again okay so the contact name is jeremy and the last name is reiner and then we have uh, the gmail and we are going to fill in the information germany house number okay field 13 we can actually remove this if you want okay let's keep it that way and uh, the phone number let's make it as uh, 91 and then we have i'm entering the phone number of jeremy reiner okay so we have entered the phone number of jeremy reiner just click on next step and complete the purchase Okay, so a purchase uh, by Jeremy Renner has been made. So let's have a look in Twilio whether it has delivered this message. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. Okay. Scroll down. Yes, as you can see, uh, the message has been sent by Twilio to this particular number. Okay, so this means our integration is working absolutely fine. So, which in turn means that anytime a new subscription is created in Pay Kickstart, it will be reflected as a message via Twilio. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.